go. What does it What does it mean to be a woman in in the in this day and age? How like what are some of the things you touch on in the workshop? Uh, well, the, one of the places that I work on that is actually in my membership. So it's called the collective and it's just an on, it's an ongoing. And I think the reason that I did it in that format, rather than like, here's a workshop on how to be a whole woman, <laughs> although we do that, right? But it, it is, it's a little bit of what we touched on before, which is, can we allow for all the parts of ourselves mm. and not get caught in, oh, if I'm a woman, therefore I have to be feminine and feminine is only this and da, 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 da. but also not get caught in like, well, I'm a feminist woman. So therefore I can't, you know, want to be in a relationship or want a man to take care of me. And, and either one of those mm. are just boxes on one end of the spectrum or the other. And so my, all, all of the work is really around uh, ultimately breaking out of those boxes and saying, well, what do you actually want? What's the experience you want? And this is what I would say to that question about men wanting to date in this way too. It's like, what do you actually want? Yeah. And then we look at, so how do we go about creating that? You know, what, it, what are the practices? What is the energetic we need to bring? How do we expand your capacity? Not how do you become someone different than who you are, but how do you actually expand your capacity to express who you truly are so that you can create more of the experiences, the relationships, the intimacy in your life that you want, mm. the way you actually want it, you know, not some idea of the ideal relationship or. Yes. And, and the who you should be and, and, and yeah. all that sort of thing. Do you, do you think we're still um, kind of coming down from that trip of, of, um, you know, what it, what it means to have a happy, successful relationship and marriage. And there's still kind of like some social attachments to that. Absolutely. I mean, I think it changes and it morphs, but there's this seed that there is a way. Mm. So, you know, again, and, and I, I don't know, I, I've never been to Australia. Um, for instance, I don't know like how similar it would be in Australia and the United States. Or we can say, well, it's probably slightly different in like California or like Alabama sure. or right. We get these, we get these geographical differences and then we go like, well, my, in my family system, it was shown to me like this. Mm. And then we go like, oh, but now I'm part of, you know, the conscious ecstatic dance community and they say it's like this. Yeah. And so, but everywhere we go, it's just easy to look and go, oh, right. But to have the right kind of relationship here is like this. So I think even you asked this question a while back and we got, we got a little derailed, but like, what is my background? Yes. And, and early, like my very first, um, forays, if you will, into teaching or coaching were leading a program called the authentic man program. Mm -hmm. And that was actually in that realm of basically what if there's no cookie cutter molds and how do you have more of the kind of relationships with women you want to have? Mm. And, and it, even when you were saying, like, oh, I felt a little awkward or I felt a little shy, I was like, yeah, that was exactly our demographic. Men who are like, I really want to have a relationship. And I like, how do I approach a woman or how do I? And, and so we would work in that realm, but really from this place of there are no cookie cutter molds. Like there's no, we're just going to give you the five step plan and then you'll be able to approach any woman. And yeah, the classic the techniques and all of the tricks. Yeah. And, but the, and I think, I think we do have to keep kind of relearning this as we go because it's so easy as humans to just create a new box. Mm. Oh, I thought that the, the, the right relationship looked like X, Y, and Z. And then I busted out of that. And now it looks like, you know, QRST. Yes. And then I busted out of that. And then I, and, and where we go like, Oh, so I really think what it's about is, is continuously actually going. So what structures, uh, are consciously or unconsciously in place and do I want them that way? Mm. But the first step is actually going like, so, so what are they? What are the unconscious assumptions that I have or that my partner has what habits have we just fallen into? Oh, you do that and I do this. Oh, this is how it goes on Saturday morning. And, and without any blame, shame, or judgment, just going like, well, do I want it? That, like, yeah. I want it that way. Hey, guys. If you enjoyed the content, 
uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.